Hey, Santanu from Austin Kung Fu Academy here, and this is the AKFA Self Defense Training Vlog. So, this lesson is a clinch! When someone's striking at you, it is a self defense situation, it's one of the best options in my IMHO. I always assume in self defense training that the opponent is going to be bigger, heavier, stronger, uglier. <laughs> so basically the worst case scenario. Worst case, absolutely worst case. Well, let me say it this way. It's probably the most scalable option. Yeah. If we are two arms length distance, we're safe. We're totally safe. You can throw all, as many strikes and we're not, not going to get hit. Um, if I'm here, no, that's it. When you get in range for your super punch, you're also in range for their super punch. There's a chance that you could get hit trying to, trying to hit. So, all the way out is good. And also, all the way in is good too. Because, why, Ariel? Well, from here, I can't really wind up to make a big punch. So the best I can do is go, 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 this kind of short punch. Not a lot of damage. So it's much more in control, a lot safer position to be here than the other positions we were just talking about. That's right. So let's say we're, we're circling. We're circling. We're circling. And at some point, a punch is going to come. Hey, that's, that's all it is. It's a hug, it's an aggressive hug. When he comes in, I'm shooting off my back leg like this, and I'm coming in, and then I'm wrapping like so. When that punch comes, you really want to put the weight on your back leg and have your hands come up and drive in. I know that's counterintuitive. When someone's punching, we probably want to be like, ah, you know, but actually, I'm saying go into the fire like that. Okay. So, push off your back leg, shield up, drive in, drive in. And then once you do that, you're going to drop your hands and go in like a magnet. Like your head is tucked in and you are in tight. I'm going to just release my arms for a moment so you can see just how tight I am in. Look at that. I am in glued like this. Okay. So my hip is in and, uh, and my head is down and I've grabbed my arm across his back, and my left hand is a thumbless grip pulling in, and I'm just going to hold. Now, he's going to move around and try to get away, and I'm just, you know, hanging out. I'm not exerting much energy, folks. He's the one struggling. I'm just chilling. I'm going for a ride. When you're kind of in this position, if you're, if you're not looking too carefully, it looks like, well, if I got the blinders on, where am I yeah, going? Yeah. I, don't, I, I can't see Absolutely. anything. So there's this little gap. Yeah. You make just enough so that you can't get punched, but you can see just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little so bit. You protect your face, you protect your head, just like this, but with enough vision so you can shoot in, aim for the bad guy, bump, make contact with your arms just a little bit, have a little bit of forward pressure, then go in for the hug. Stay close, stay close, stay safe. Well, here's, here's the drill that, uh, that we'd like you all to try, all right? So get, get with your buddy, your partner, all right? And I want you to circle around for a little bit. Make sure you have two arms length uh, between you. And I want your buddy, your partner, to at some point slowly come in with a hand touch. When you see that come in, you go in, okay? And just drill that for a moment. Don't even do the clinch. Just drill that and then reset. And then do that again. We'll just have him do that like a couple times. Oh, I want to get that reflex of when he punches, I go in, because that's not natural. That's not natural. So you need to train that on its own. When he punches, I'm going in. All right, well, now that you've developed that reflex, then I want you to catch it, and then I want the partner to just move around a little bit, and you stay with it. Now, try not to let this happen. Oh, no. Okay, and try not to let this happen, too. Oh no! So you need this, this. Stay in tight, stay in tight, and that's it. I want you to do it on me. All right. So I'm gonna be your bad guy. Let's measure hands. Here we are. So here comes a punch. All right. 
I think generally we just got to keep in mind that the way to stay safe from punches is to stay close. Stay close and you're safe. This technique is where it all starts. From here, we go into takedowns and then from the takedowns we we control on the ground from the control then we end up in su we submit them and all that sort of stuff. So, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to share it and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you next time.